Assalamu alaikum, I am Habibullah from LLB 2A. Today, I would be presenting my political science research assignment. The topic of my research assignment was the role of religious minorities in the state affairs and politics of Pakistan. In this topic, I would be telling you about how religious minorities have been playing their role in the progress of Pakistan. But before discussing the role of religious minorities in the state affairs and politics of Pakistan, let's discuss what are religious minorities like who are religious minorities what is the basic definition of religious minorities so the religious minority is basically a group of people who follow a minority religion and now you might be thinking that what is a minority religion uh, so a minority religion is a religion that is followed by a very small number of people in a state or a country so this was a very basic definition of a religious minority now let's get to a more specific definition of religious minority given by United Nations Human Rights Office of the High Commissioner that is a religious minority is any group of people which comprise less than half of the population of the entire state whose members share the common characteristics of religion okay so now we know that to follow a religion according to one's own choice is a fundamental right of everyone and no one can object anyone in this matter however religious minorities all over the world are being subjected to severe discrimination and inequalities despite all this they still play a very important role in the state affairs and politics of their countries okay so now let's get started with our topic let's discuss the religious minorities in pakistan like what is the population how long have they been living in pakistan and etc as we all know that pakistan is predominantly an islamic state but still it encompasses some religious diversity the population of religious minorities in Pakistan can be seen from the table which is based on the demographic report of Nadra released in 2012. According to the census of Pakistan 2017, the total population of Pakistan was 207.9 million out of which 96.28% were Muslims, 1.59% were Christians, 1.6% were Hindus, 0.2% were Qadianis, 0.2% belonged to the scheduled castes, and the other people who belonged to other minority religion were 0.07%. The minorities have been living in Pakistan even before its independence, but the fact here to be noticed is that the percentage of minorities living in Pakistan had been fluctuating over the years. Now, let's see the population of religious minorities since the independence of Pakistan. In 1951, the minorities were 3.44% of the total population. In 1961, it decreased to about 2.83%. And in 1972, it again rose to 3.25%. And in 1981, it again rose a little bit by 3.30%. And in 2017, it was 3.73% of the total population. Now, as we all know that Pakistan came into being on the basis of Islamic ideology, so this became a matter of concern for the minorities already living there. That They thought that are their rights going to be protected in the newly formed state of Pakistan or not? And they were basically thinking that will they be protected in Pakistan or not? So when Qaid Azam came to know about the concerns of the minorities, he immediately clarified them. On 21st March 1948, Muhammad Ali Jinnah, while addressing the people of Dhaka, said that Minorities will be given a complete sense of security and they would enjoy equal rights. This is fundamental teachings of Islam. On another occasion, Muhammad Ali Jannah said that You are free. You are free to go to your temples. You are free to go to your mosques or any other place of worship in the state of Pakistan. You may belong to any religion, caste or creed. That has nothing to do with the business of the state. Now let's see what the different constitutions of Pakistan have to say regarding the rights of minorities. The fundamental rights like equality for everyone before the law, no discrimination based upon any social trait or religion, right to live, right to get education, and etc. have been granted to every citizen of Pakistan by all the three constitutions of Pakistan like in the constitution of 1956, in the constitution of 1962, and the 73 constitution. They all are granting basic fundamental rights to every citizen of Pakistan. According to the preamble of the constitution of Pakistan 1973, it is stated that Adequate provision shall be made for the minorities to freely profess and practice their religion and develop their cultures. Now coming back to our main topic, role of religious minorities in the state affairs and politics of Pakistan. 
Once again, before discussing the role of religious minorities, let's discuss what is meant by politics and state affairs. Simply speaking, politics is basically the struggle for power, influence and authority, whereas state affairs are the matters of a state regarding its growth and development. Now, as we are done with the introduction of our topic, let's get started with our main topic, which is the role of religious minorities in Pakistan. We know that there are many religious minorities living in Pakistan like Hindus, Christians, Buddhists, Sikhs, Parsis, etc. and etc. But I can't cover all of them, so I just decided to uh, cover the three of them. So the minorities that are in the focus in my presentation are Hindu minority, Christian minority and Sikh minority. First, let's get started with the Hindu minority. The religion with the largest population after Islam in Pakistan is Hinduism and we all know that a follower of Hinduism is known as a Hindu. Simple. Hindus mainly believe in the concept of Dharma and Karma. Dharma basically means the rules and regulations given by the religion, whereas Karma means actions that determine the fate of the person in the future existence. All Hindus try to develop positive Karma in order to inspire a better reincarnation. Hindu worship different gods, but the most important of them are Brahma, the creator, Vishnu, the preserver, and Shiva, the destroyer. Some of the famous holidays of Hindus include Holi, Diwali, Navratri, etc. Most of the Hindu community of Pakistan lives in Sindh. Now we have discussed something about the Hindu religion. Let's discuss the role of Hindu minority in the politics of Pakistan. From the past few decades, the Hindus are making their mark in the politics of Pakistan. They are working sincerely for the betterment of their people who supported them during the elections. These Hindu leaders are not only supported by the Hindus, but also by the Muslims who find them as candid and sincere. Now let's see some of the famous personalities of Hindu minority in the politics of Pakistan. The first personality is of Dr. Ramesh Kumar Vankwani. He is a Hindu politician who is currently a member of National Assembly since August 2018. He was also a member of the National Assembly from June 2013 to May 2018 during the tenure of Pakistan Muslim League Noon. Before becoming a member of the National Assembly, he was a member of Sindh Provincial Assembly from 2002 to 2007. The fact here to be noticed is that he became a member of the Provincial and National Assembly by occupying the seats reserved for minorities only. Besides being a politician, he is also an MBBS doctor. He is also the founder of Pakistan Hindu Council, which was founded in 2005. The second personality is of Krishna Kumari Kohli. She is a Hindu Dalit politician who is currently a senator since March 2018. She became a senator by occupying a reserved seat for women. The fact here to be noticed is that she is the second Hindu woman to reach the Senate of Pakistan, whereas Ratna Bhagwan Das Chawla remains the first woman to reach the Senate. Also, she belongs to the lowest caste in the Hindu religion, that is the Leeth, also known as the Untouchables. The Leeths are mostly associated with the dirtiest tasks like cleaning streets and sewage management in Hindu society. Now, a Dalit becoming a senator in an Islamic state shows equality and justice with the minorities in the true sense, as prescribed by Islam. The third personality from the Hindu minority in the politics of Pakistan is Mahesh Kumar Malani. He is also a Hindu politician who is currently a member of the National Assembly since August 2018. He is the first ever Hindu politician to win a general seat in the National Assembly of Pakistan. Previously, he has also served as the member of the parliament from 2008 to 2013 but by occupying a reserved seat for minority. Now, I think that it's enough for the role of Hindu minority in the politics of Pakistan. Let's discuss the role of Hindu minority in the state affairs of Pakistan. The Hindu minority have also been working to maintain the affairs of Pakistan and drive it towards progress and growth. But being minorities, they mostly do not come into limelight and try to support their country from the lower level. The Hindu community of Pakistan is mostly living in Sindh and most of the Hindus in Sindh are associated with the occupation of agriculture, which is an important sector in the economy of Pakistan. They constitute to form a large labor force in the agricultural sector of Sindh, which is one of the biggest agriculture sectors of Pakistan. So we can say that at the lower level, the Hindus are playing a significant role in the agriculture sector of Pakistan. But still, there are some famous personalities from the Hindu minority in the state affairs of Pakistan. The first personality is of Justice Rana Bhagwan Das. Among the top jurists of Pakistan, the name of Rana Bhagwan Das needs no introduction. He was considered as one of the best reputed jurists that Pakistan had ever seen. 
He served as the senior judge and acting chief justice of Pakistan. The fact to be noticed is that along with having law education, he had a master's degree in Islamic studies. This is quite rare in the case of people with non-Islamic backgrounds. Also, he was the first Hindu jurist and the third non-Muslim jurist to reach the Supreme Court of Pakistan. He spent a total tenure of 40 years in the judiciary of Pakistan, starting in 1967 and ending till his retirement in 2007. The second personality is of Suman Pavan Bodani. She is the first Hindu woman to be appointed as the civil judge, or also known as judicial magistrate. She did her LLB from Hyderabad and her LLM from a private institute with a gold medal. This was all for the Hindu minority. Now let's move on to Christian minority. Christianity is the religion having the third largest population in Pakistan after Islam and Hinduism, but if we see globally, it is the religion with the largest number of followers, which is 2 billion. There are basically three branches in Christianity that are Protestants, the Catholics, and the Orthodox. The Holy Book of Christians is the Holy Bible. The Christians believe in only one God, who is the creator of heaven and earth, so we can say that they are monotheistic. The Christians believe that God sent his son, Jesus, also known as the Messiah, to save the world. The cross is the sacred symbol of Christianity. Jerusalem is considered as the holiest place in Christianity. Some important holidays in Christianity are Christmas, Easter, Good Friday, etc. 75% of the Christian community of Pakistan lives in Punjab. So, we can say that most of the Christian community is living in Punjab. Now, let's discuss the role of Christian minority in the politics of Pakistan. The role of Christian minority in the politics of Pakistan is greater than any other minority living in Pakistan. Christians have worked a great deal for the freedom of not only the Christians of Pakistan, but also for all the minorities in Pakistan. Now let's see some of the famous Christian minority personalities in the politics of Pakistan. The first personality is of Shahbaz Bhatti. He was a Christian politician who became a member of National Assembly of Pakistan in 2008 and remained in the office until his assassination in Islamabad in 2011. He was the first federal minister for the minorities affairs. The second personality is of Kamran Michael. He is also a Christian politician. He was first elected as a member of the Senate of Pakistan in 2012 for the first time by occupying a reserved seat for minority. Then, he became the Minister for Ports and Shipping in PMLN's era from June 2013 till May 2016. After that, he served as the Minister for Human Rights from 2016 till 2017 and then after that, when Nashrif got disqualified and resigned in July 2017, and Shahid Khagan Abbasi was re-elected as the Prime Minister. In August 2017, he was appointed as the Federal Minister for Statistics. And he remained in the office till May 2018. Now, let's discuss the role of Christian minority in the state affairs of Pakistan. In addition to the role in the politics of Pakistan, the role of Christians in the state affairs of Pakistan is also greater than any other minority in Pakistan. Since the independence of Pakistan, the Christians have been taking an active part in the development and progress of Pakistan. The Christian community is also very much appreciated for its institutions like missionary hospitals and convent schools. These institutions were established by the British and were run by the Christians in their time. After they departed from the subcontinent, these institutions became part of both Pakistan and India. These institutions played a very important role in stabilizing Pakistan's economy and its political structure. The missionary hospitals run by the Christian community have helped Pakistan a lot. They were cheap and had the best doctors. But now, due to the increase in the number of private hospitals, their value has decreased. But still, they are the first place where the poor choose to go. The convent schools and colleges also run by the Christian community are still one of the best educational institutes in Pakistan. Most of the modern political leadership of Pakistan has got its education from those convent schools. Now let's see what some of the few famous names from the Christian minority in the state affairs of Pakistan. So the first personality from the Christian minority which is worth mentioning is of Dr. Ruth Fow. She was such a respectable and wonderful personality of Pakistan that words would not be able to describe her services which she rendered for Pakistan. She was basically a German Pakistani Catholic nun, a physician and a writer. She was born in Germany but left it in 1961 and moved to Pakistan. She devoted her entire life to curing leprosy in Pakistan. She basically helped to create 157 leprosy clinics all over Pakistan and treated approximately 57,000 patients during her life. She was awarded many awards like Hilale Imtiaz, Hilale Pakistan, etc. 
Due to her selfless service, she was given the title of Mother Teresa of Pakistan. She left this earth on 10th August 2017 and is the only Christian and the only non-Muslim to be honored with a state funeral up till now. Now the next personality is of Alvin Robert Cornelius. He was a Christian jurist who holds an important place in the development of the legal system of Pakistan. He can also be considered as one of the founding fathers of the legal system of Pakistan. He served as the fourth Chief Justice of Pakistan from 1960 to 1968 and he was also appointed as the Law Minister in the tenure of Yahya Khan from 1969 to 1971. This was all from the Christian minority side. Now let's discuss Sikh minority. Sikhs do not have as much population in Pakistan as that of Hindus and Christians, but still, their approximate population in Pakistan ranges between 10,000 to 50,000, which is mostly located in the province of Punjab and KPK. A Sikh is a person who believes in one God, who is timeless and infinite. Sikhism was basically founded by Sri Guru Nanak Dev Ji, who was born in Nankana Sahib, which is in modern-day Pakistan. He rejected idol worshipping and the Hindu concept of caste. His teachings and the teachings of the other nine gurus are based upon equality, community service, and social justice. The Guru Granth Sahib or the Sikh holy book is considered as the living guru in Sikhism. Some of the important Sikh festivals include Vesakhi, Holla Mohalla, etc. Now let's discuss the role of Sikh minority in the politics of Pakistan. Sikh is basically a small religious minority in Pakistan, so depending upon its very small population, it has few roles in the politics of Pakistan. But once again, few roles of a small religious minority cannot be denied and shall be given the same consideration as given to other minorities. Now let's see some of the famous names from the Sikh community in the politics of Pakistan. The first one is of Sardar Ramesh Singh Arora. He is basically a Sikh politician, a social worker, a microfinance and an institutional development specialist. Before becoming a politician, he worked with the World Bank. He is associated with the Pakistan Muslim League Noon Political Party. He was first Sikh politician to be elected as a member of Punjab Provincial Assembly in 2013. Before that, he was a member of the National Commission for the Minorities from 2011 to 2013. The next personality is of Gurdeep Singh. He is also a Sikh politician who is associated with Pakistan Tehreek-e Insaf political party. He belongs to the Swat district of KPK and in 2021, he became the first ever Sikh to reach the Senate of Pakistan. He became the member of Senate by winning a minority seat. Now let's see the role of Sikh community in the state affairs of Pakistan. The Sikh are playing their role in the state affairs of Pakistan according to their population size, but they have not been able to reach very high ranks or positions in the state official system. So let's discuss some of the names from the Sikh minority in the state affairs of Pakistan. The first person is Harcharan Singh and he is a Pakistani Sikh army officer and is probably the first ever Sikh to be commissioned in Pakistan army. No Hindu even was commissioned into the Pakistan army before him. After him comes the name of Amarjeet Singh and he is also a member of Sikh community who is the inspector of Pakistani rangers. And the last personality from the Sikh community is of Dr. Gulab Singh. He is also a member of Sikh community who is the first ever Sikh to be appointed as a traffic sub-inspector. Along with that, he is also a practicing homeopathic doctor. And so on the list of minorities continue who actively take part in the progress and development of Pakistan. We should know that although these minorities are very small in number, we cannot deny their contribution to the upward mobility and progress of Pakistan. Although they have been neglected greatly, they have always tried their best to make their country proud. They may belong to any religion, but they have always thought of Pakistan as their dearest homeland. But the question here arises that what have we ever done for these minorities? Did we ever give them their religious freedom? Did we give them a life free from inequality and discrimination, which was once the building principles of Pakistan? The answer would be completely no. What we did was to create more hurdles for them. We destroyed the Hindu temple in Karak KBK. We are forcing the minorities into marriages by forcefully converting them into Islam. The case of Ali Azhar and Arzu Raja are the most recent examples. We created blaspheme laws that could easily be manipulated and used by any of their adversaries to get personal revenge from them. In this way, many minorities in Pakistan have been falsely accused of committing blaspheme. The names of Asya Bibi and Rimsha Masi are a living example of this fact. Keeping these arguments in view, how can we say that this is the Pakistan that Jannah created? 
How can we say that this is the Pakistan that Ilama Muhammad Iqbal dreamt of? One more thing, the way we Muslims are treating the minorities, in the same way the Muslims are being treated by the states and nations where they are a minority. Then how come we are different from others? Then how are we the followers of Prophet Muhammad wasallam, who never did injustice with any minority? These are the things that we should think of, not only as being a Muslim but also as being a Pakistani.